I'm Dr. Thomas Barrows. I'm on the Clinical Advisory Board with Removery, and we are going to watch a tattoo removal session together. Frosty Friday, who made this great animation? That's cool. Good job. Okay. All right, so what, what you can hear in the background, you hear that clicking. That's not a sound that the laser's making, that's a sound that the skin is making. You're actually hearing what are called photoacoustic pops. That's the shock wave hitting the tattoo ink. And now what you can see, it sounds like they cut the sound on it, but uh, now you can see the tattoo almost appears to be fading before your eyes. What you're seeing is a little bit of an optical illusion. What happens when you hit the tattoo ink with a laser is there is a release of tiny microscopic gas bubbles that form at the very thin uh, boundary between the dermis and the epidermis. That's called frosting. That frosting effect actually makes it difficult to see the tattoo underneath because the light now scatters across those tiny microscopic bubbles. But we can use frosting as a really useful guide to see where the laser is gone, to make sure that the settings are correct, that we're getting a really good interaction between the laser light and the tattoo. And you can see we can just sort of paint the tattoo. Each one of these pulses only lasts for a picosecond. Uh, but we can pulse them very, very rapidly, and there's plenty of time in between those pulses for the skin to cool off. So you don't have any burning, you don't see any blistering forming, just a nice, clean frosting effect that occurs over each of the areas of the tattoo. Now I'll comment that this tattoo is uh, almost entirely black in color. We will choose different wavelengths for different colors. The 1064 nanometer wavelength is probably the most commonly used wavelength, and that's almost certainly what the technician is using here, uh, because that's our go-to wavelength to treat black ink. That long wavelength doesn't have much interaction with any of the skin around it. In fact, even if there's a little bit of your hair that gets in the way, it's possible we can bleach that hair or maybe even break the hair shaft. But these wavelengths are so short that you can't do tat uh, hair removal with a tattoo laser. So we can just sort of zap over, zap over this tattoo here, treat the tattoo, and, and not have too much concern that we're damaging any of the skin or the hair follicles around it. Oh, Mr. Skele skeleton here. We got some skull ponage going on. Look at that, there go his teeth. Headshot. <laughs> doing your <laughs> yeah, you don't mind if I, I do a little PewDiePie here, do yeah, you? I get that. Oh, he, he just got pwned. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is literally a headshot. That's great. Now, so what, what you'll see is, uh, e even though there's sort of this faint ghost that's left over and you can see this dramatic effect, what will happen is those tiny microscopic bubbles of air that now sit over the tattoo will eventually be reabsorbed into the body over the course of maybe the next 15 or 20 minutes or so. And you'll see the tattoo starting to darken back up again. In fact, when the session's over and the little micro bubbles go away, you'll swear we haven't done anything. Because the tattoo ink is still sitting there, but what the artist has done, or the technician has done by hitting it with a laser, is we've broken the cells that are holding on to that ink. We've put that ink outside of the cells and back into the extracellular environment. And we've crushed those tattoo ink particles smaller and smaller, so it's easier for the immune system to now gobble it up and remove it. So what'll happen is, almost imperceptibly, little by little, day by day, over the course of weeks to even two or more months, little tiny bits of that tattoo ink will gradually be taken away by the immune system. So while this is a really dramatic and, and wonderful response to the laser, the real work of removing a tattoo is done by your immune system over the subsequent weeks. This is a fairly large tattoo. Um, sometimes we'll break it down into pieces, but since it looks like we're going for this entire tattoo all at once, this is a client that we will probably give a little bit more time between sessions. 
One of the other things that's worth pointing out when you look at this, if you notice the palm tree, it's really, really dark. That's, that's solid fill. Some parts of tattoos are, are called gray shading or just gray wash where they're fairly light, you know, uh, but in cases like this, um, like the, the spade or whatever that is, or those palm leaves where they're really, the ink is packed in there, even if we could knock out a quarter of the ink in a single session, there may be so much ink packed into that tattoo that you might not see much fading in session number one. Oh, this is what I should point, this little handpiece it looks like she's holding is a cooler device. So if you see on the upper right, there's what looks like a vacuum cleaner. That's actually blowing minus four degree air uh, onto the skin to keep the surface of the skin cool. One of the, one of the ways that you can reduce injury to the surface of the skin and also reduce the discomfort of tattoo removal is by cooling the surface of the skin. If you have a non-contact cooler like the one they're using here, that works great, but believe it or not, even just applying an ice pack intermittently through the session can help with that. Most people don't have significant pain with tattoo removal because the pulses are so fast, uh, but about a third of people will actually say that tattoo removal hurts as much as, if not a little bit more than getting the tattoo removed. The best description I think I've ever heard of the pain associated with this is it feels like somebody takes a rubber band and stretches it out and snaps you in the skin with it. That's not terrible. We just do it a couple thousand times. <laughs> Anyway, very nice video. I'm Dr. Thomas Barrows. Thank you for joining me for this narration of this tattoo removal video. I hope you enjoyed it.